Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. My name is Joachim Wiesma and today I have another Blooms, Buds and Zuts video. So that means that we do some updates in the Orchid Room in the Greenhouse. And we are starting in the Orchid Room and yes, <laughs> I have quite some pots here. Well, actually these are buckets, but I do make my own pots out of them, basically. So I burn the holes in there and uh, then I can uh, put some wicking material in there. I use uh, Cintiq, the long version. Put them in here and I have these hooks already there and use them on my uh, fell wall in this case. These are fairly nice big pots because my fells, we will see in a minute, we have, they also have quite some aerial roots and I need to put them up. And I will uh, discuss this later on why, because it's, it's kind of funny, but uh, yeah, I needed a, uh, quite a lot of pots. And I found these uh, beautiful uh, dark gray ones that weren't that expensive. But yeah, I'm burning the holes in and then I can put the hooks in and they can hang on the wall. So that is this uh, project. And then I have, it's a little bit messy here because I'm watering different stuff. But I also want to mention that I use this stuff now for about two years, I think. And especially for the trips, um, blooms and buds. And in my case, I do not uh, get um, the blooms and the buds to die off. If I use this stuff uh, mixed as uh, recommended on the uh, box, I mix it in this, uh, this sprayer and I spray it on the blooms and the buds and I don't lose them. If I would use my oil solution that I uh, like to use for my pets control, if you don't forget, I will put a link up. Well, it's actually in that corner, I believe. But anyhow, <laughs> I uh, lose uh, the blooms in the buds because that stuff, uh, I use oil. But this is not uh, oil based and it really works well for the thrips. If you have thrips on your blooms, you need to use it for about three weeks. So you spray it, you wait seven days, you spray it again and another seven days again. And then you have the whole cycle. So, but yeah, this is uh, the stuff. So if you are interested in it, uh, look it up. I, uh, I really have good results with it. So that is so far going on here. And let me quickly do an update on the jewel orchids. They start to look better, I think. We did do some repotting on them. And I think I have quite some new growth. And also the leaves do look better, especially this one. So I do give them less light. I give them a, did give them a little bit too much light. And they, they don't need it and they really don't like it. But yeah, I found out the hard way. And uh, let me check. Yes, let's look at this one. I have my kit running, so if you hear some background noises, I'm sorry, but it's very warm. This Miltoniopsis decided to start to bloom again. She's so beautiful. And over here, I have another one. This one we didn't see this year in bloom. Also beautiful, and the one besides it needs a little bit more time. <laughs> And then that one will be in bloom again as well. Yeah, this one is so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They all are beautiful. <laughs> some are going over, my Hurl Alexander, for example. But we have some fresh new blooms as well. And let me quickly check. Yeah, that was so far the updates here. Let's uh, let's go inside of the greenhouse and do an update on my fell story. <laughs> Still quite a lot of blooms. I really enjoy them. Still. But anyhow, yeah, what happened it was with this one. This is actually in a uh, smaller pot, as you can see. But this one was also on the side of the pot. I have uh, quite some examples, but let's look at this one. So you can see this is the pot. It has the roots in the pot, roots on the side. So those we call area roots. And the plant itself is really growing out of sight of the pot, which is beautiful, which I wanted. But I like this one I had for, let me quickly check, 2019 in September. So that's uh, 20, 21, 22, yeah, three and a half years, something like that, growing like uh, this. 
And what happened eventually, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I really need, I, I really started laughing about it because it's obvious, but yeah, the older roots start to die off. So yeah, you can imagine if it starts growing and growing, uh, there will be a point that most of the roots, what's, what's happening in this case, are dying off. So the, the weight is really outside of the pot and this one was really hanging, just a few roots left there. So I really needed to repot it. And then I thought, of course, that will happen. And I, it's just it's so simple, but it didn't cross my mind yet. But yeah, so now I see quite some potential of uh, fells that may fell off because I don't know how old those roots are really. I could, could check them and how, in which condition, of course. Maybe this one will hold on longer to the older roots. Who knows? But I was like, yeah, I need to do something about this because yeah, like this one, you can imagine with these spikes, they are very heavy. So yeah, those roots, I, we need to, we need again in that pot. And it's basically the same procedure that I did with the Leodoro. So I had done a few already, but I was running out of the pebbles. But yeah, this, let me uh, go over here so you can see. These are the really big girls in the big pots now. I have another one over here, this white one. With this, uh, where are the, where's the, here is the blooms. <laughs> here are the blooms. It's a very large one. And it has also a spike going. This one, so it looks a little bit funny now because I did repot it, but they are facing the other way now. But anyhow, this is how it looks. And I will put some pebbles around it because uh, I need to water them. I leave them, uh, if I pot up area roots, sometimes I leave, leave them to rest for one or two days. So okay, they can get a little bit used to the environment, but I will, uh, after filming, I will fill up the reservoir. And this one is was in a very strange shape, growing in a strange direction. Let me see, can I... Yeah, there we go. So this is the rhizome, so I did make a move like that. <laughs> it had a lot of roots and still some older roots, but I was like, yeah, probably it will fall off. Well, it could have grown on for another year at least, but anyhow, I just thought I'm going to repot it and use those area roots. Same story with this one. This is one of my oldest. Very beautiful. It had luckily more alive roots than I thought. It was really hanging on the side of the pot. But uh, yeah, it's doing very well, I think. So yeah, that's something that I need to do because you can imagine like this one also needs quite some room. And the one in the back there. This one is also very, very heavy. It spike. And it, those are fine, they will stay there <laughs> for a couple of months at least. But yeah, there will come a day, then, then they will fall out of those pots. I mean, like this, yeah, this beautiful yellow one, it's this one. It's here, it's beautiful, but you can see it's going sort of downwards and then upwards again. So the shape is a <laughs> little bit strange, but it has this beautiful, you can see a lot of aerial roots. So yeah, those needs space. So that's why I bought these buckets, five liter buckets. So I can at least uh, put it in, uh, in the, the aerial roots. And they will break, but they will, uh, will survive. Some will break. But yeah, like I said, it's the same procedure as I did with the Leodoro. And because I don't have the time to film them all, <laughs> I will skip a few and it will take me some time. And so therefore, I uh, luckily have the Leodor. It's, it's like I said, it's exactly the same uh, procedure. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of funny. I did, just didn't think of it. But yeah, of course, someday they uh, really, <laughs> really start to fall off. So yeah, the poor thing. Luckily, I saw it in time. Otherwise, it was was, uh, <laughs> was dying. But yeah, you can see. She has beautiful roots, green roots. She's doing fine. Yeah, I felt a little bit sorry, but yeah. Sometimes we just need to learn simple things. It was so simple. Anyhow, you guys, let's um, let's have a look over here because today is watering day, as you can see for the vendas, and we have these beautiful roots, alio roots. My vendas really enjoy this weather. It's very warm. Let me, uh, let me quickly give you an idea. The temperature. This is in the shade, 27. I will. Let's you see another one that's more in the, in the sun in a minute. 
that says something else. <laughs> this is a Venda that will, will bloom for the first time. Really, really, really looking forward to it. But yeah, the, it had some black dots on it. Sometimes it happened, but I was like, yeah, I want to be sure. That's why I'm starting to spray them again. I, uh, I have some thrips, I believe. Oh yeah, before I forget, this is the orchid, the vena that I did get from Insa. Look at that. Really, really working on a beautiful spike. And she's also working on beautiful roots. This one needs to go into the face. I will put it in, but I need two of my two hands. She's also working on, uh, on a beautiful uh, new root system as well. So yeah. And what I do with the fans that I have the longest, those are these three that I know, kind of know for sure that they, these are healthy. I will get the water out and then I use that water because I don't want to waste it too much of that water. I will use it for my... Uh, <sighs> Sometimes I just I keep forgetting. Uh, yes, you notice. This is a you notice. And Catacidon types. Yes, there it was. Because they like the more uh, fertilized water as well. A big fly there, go away. <laughs> and so far they seem to do fairly well, I think. We have the big one here. Those three seem to do well. This one is losing the, all the bulbs, but still it's working on this beautiful new growth. And the bulb from last year is still there, so I think it's doing fine. But uh, yeah. And I have them close to the roof, as you can see, so they get a, quite a lot of light. They really like it when they are act in active growth. But uh, yeah, talking about the thrips, um, this one, this is my uh, Tempensis and Cyclia Tempensis Alba. Beautiful uh, blooming, but I noticed on uh, this flower, for example, I'm sorry for the background. Hope you can see it here. You see the marks there. Those are trips marks. So I really need to spray it. I really do. And I see something there that might be even a trip. That little black dot. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. So yeah. I will spray it. And like I said, oh, whoops, I'm sorry for making you dizzy. <laughs> after after this uh, video but now let's look one more time at the flower and now more about the shape of it and then we go to this flower which should be a um cross with a kettle oh, i'm sorry it was my uh, no this is not a good video uh, video good bloom i'm sorry here we go this should be a cross with a Cattleya and an Encyclia. And I really do think that I recognize the shape of the Encyclia. Let's go back one more time. So maybe it's crossed with this uh, Tem Tempensis Alba. I'm not completely sure, but yeah. To me, they do look kind of similar. Anyhow, both of them are beautiful, I think. And here is my Wilbur Chang, Boba Film Wilbur Chang. Recently, I did see a video of Justin Arkett and more on his Boba Films, and he has also a Wilbur Chang. And I did give it too much light, then I put mine into the green, I mean, in the Arkett room, sorry, and then it started to not look really happy. So I thought I'm going to put it back in the greenhouse, but not in a place where it does get that much light and i think it does look at looks start to look better i think but anyhow it, it started this spike here there inside of the arcad room you can see it's now forming the first bud so it's at least i will uh, it looks like i'm going to get this in flower well that's the first time <gasps> yes oh i, I didn't I didn't see it yet. <laughs> Look, another spike. Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's a dead flower there. So that's at least a second spike. So yeah, I think this spot 
is more of her liking. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, I didn't uh, saw that yet. I missed it. So I was a little bit surprised, but yeah, beautiful. And I'm checking if I see more, not yet, but probably will have more because the size of this plant is, is fairly, uh, fairly big, I believe. I have something there. Uh, yeah, between in between those sheets. Who knows? Who knows? But yes, soon enough we will have that one in bloom for the very first time. <laughs> That's beautiful. And just a quick sneak peek over here. Look at this beauty. One of my preparatas. But soon we will have a care collab on this one. Well, actually it's an update for me. I did it uh, already, a care collab. And then I will have it completely more in focus and I will talk uh, about it, how I, uh, how I give my care to it. But yeah, it's just opened up. So it's beautiful timing. <laughs> but that is coming in the near future. The end of June, I believe, we do, uh, do that uh, video. So yeah. The big fails, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Let me quickly check. Yes, I had an update doing over here, to do over here, I should say. Uh, it's this one, it's kind of funny. Prima Donna, that is this one. A fairly new growth. She just finished growing this one about a month ago, but you can see it already started to uh, push out some bugs. And it also started a new growth over there. But yeah, we will have some new flowers soon on this one. Very great, of course. My Fiasis over here, the big babies, they are doing so well. Besides a few leaves, I need to just need to cut those off, some older leaves. But they really, really started to root inside of uh, this self-watering pots. They really enjoy it. Some uh, brushias or brushia types over here because they are in spike. <laughs> this is my mystic maze. Those spikes are too long to keep them on the shelves. I have them normally over here. That mystic maze was in that corner. They, they really start to touch the roof. As you can see, probably this one is also uh, getting in. This is a billabong. I think this is the alba. Yeah, will not take long and then I need to move that one uh, to the floor as well. This one just fitted in. This is the first time it's blooming. It's a very common one, but I... Eternal, yeah, eternal wind. Oh, I'm sorry for the background. Backdrop is very, uh, very uh, sh sunny today. But yeah, beautiful blooms. Let me uh, brush your blooms. I hope you can see it. I cannot see what I'm doing at this point because of the sun, but anyhow, it will uh, be in focus more on a uh, blooming update. My orange delight, fairly big girl, is uh, starting to push out some spikes, but this one also needs to go on the floor. It's not so beautiful. It's Today I cannot remember the names. It's very common. Yes, uh, Shilap Tolkien. <laughs> I apologize. Shilap Tolkien just opened up this spike and she will have more over here. As you can see. So that is that. And then my Flavesen. Or Flaveskens. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All those flowers. Absolutely stunning. Sadly, the first ones are going over already, but yeah, <laughs> that happens. But they are so beautiful. Yeah, and my spotted sunset is in bloom. And this is the Festiva, also looking fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, those are the 
updates so far, I think. Well, actually, another update. Maybe look at this spike, my dendrobium family abscesses. Oh, yeah, before I go further, I uh, did say something about the temperature. Well, this one is uh, hanging uh, near the roof, it gets a lot of sun, and I cannot see if it is visible on the screen, but it says 34 degrees Celsius. So, yeah, warm. That is why. I have the door open these days just to get some cool nice air in and with that I do get my pests but that's a price that I pay because otherwise oh this one is did get loose that's not really uh, handy I just noticed it now but uh, I will fix it uh, after the video but yeah but uh, bugs and uh, pests will come in but yeah anyhow these uh, dendrobium family abscess really like it because I never get these longer spikes with so many blooms on unless we have this beautiful bright weather and warm temperatures or I wasn't even sure they did that but this one I'm not sure if you can see it whoops this is the original spike but this has one branch here and one here I hope you can see it I never had branches on these guys so yeah, they, those really, really enjoy uh, the warmer weather. Yes. Ruby doll, show your baby, Ruby doll is also enjoying the weather, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Let me quickly check. Those were some uh, random updates. I really enjoy this, making these videos because we can look at things that not really necessarily need their own video <laughs> because it's too short, but putting them all together and we hopefully get a quite a nice uh, video out of them while i'm checking and checking no i think this is it for now yeah. some marks here as well yeah i need to spray it so let's uh, let's do that well at least i'm going to do it <laughs> and i just wanted to say a thank you all i hope you're all doing well i am it's still very busy but it's okay we are really uh, managing uh, stuff here so I, uh, yeah, I think I have it kind of under control. I could use a little bit more time so I can get uh, get rid of some old blooms over there, for example, some old fla uh, 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 leaves. But yeah, that's not not the end of the world. And some uh, <laughs> some ferns. That's why they are so big now because I, I I have not the time to get them out. But anyhow, it's not the end of the world. Cymbidium, yeah, do you really start to drink? because they are really starting to grow the new growths so those are doing fine as well anyhow you guys thank you so much for watching and uh, of course if you have any questions please uh, leave them in the comment section below and for now just thank you for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i really really hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye <laughs>